Good afternoon and welcome to Robin Minds. I am Bimileke Oscar Onyiso and it's great to have you on the show this Sunday afternoon. Um, well, it's the first for me this year and uh, this is officially a happy new year for me. Uh, as you all know, um, Ebuka will be back. Uh, he's on some official business, so I'll be standing in for now. But what are we talking about today? A lot has happened in the past week. Specifically is the letter written by former President Olusegun Obasanjo last week, Tuesday, to our current president on the status of things, basically telling him to not run in 2019, recover from his health fully, and uh, lend his voice as an elder statesman. But this letter was very worded, and uh, a lot of people read different meanings into it. Some said, is it because um, our former president has gotten a PhD and he's flexing his muscles? Uh, some of the opinion that uh, he is basically gunning for our current president and not really helping with his image. But based on recent uh, news just coming to us, there is a picture going around is viral of both presidents in Addis Ababa at the current uh, uh, AU summit exchanging pleasantries and smiling. So the question is, is this letter as serious as it is or is there more to it? Um, I have a very funny man in the studio to shed uh, more light on this from a comical scene. We'll also be talking about the Land Grazing Act and the issue of the herdsmen, the AK-47, what is going on and uh, why is it so prevalent in this country? A lot of theories abound as to why it's happening, some politically motivated, some of the opinion that it's a hidden agenda. We'll find out more from our contributors as well. And last but not the least on the entertainment segment, we have a very talented young man. He ran for Mr. Nigeria, third runner-up, an actor, and a VJ. He will be joining us in the studio. He goes by the name Badge at Debule. So look around for that one. But first things first, let's get to the crunch of the day. My guest, my first guest, is a guy who is extremely talented, hilarious on Instagram. Uh, he calls himself the number one fine boy, Agbiru. And this might not make sense to you until you check out his Instagram handle. Uh, he goes by the name Sam Perry, but also known online as Brother Shaggy. Very. Brashagi, how you doing? Oh, no, no. I'm going to be very tush because um, I can't switch off from English to um, our money. Yeah, I will be very tush. You'll be very tush. Yeah. First of all, who is Sam Perry? How, how did you come about? I mean, the first video I watched of you was the one about Jesus and how you were talking as to how Jesus would drop money for <laughs> the boys and that. Jesus can't go anywhere if he comes, you know, just some hilarious stuff. How did you come about this character? Okay, basically, eh, as I did, <laughs> I create different characters. I'm an actor, you understand? So, oh no, then I said, <laughs> okay, but that's Shaggy, these are the things happening in my area. Okay, I see the story, so I just put them down. So I try to enact them so that people can laugh and people can still get the message. So I try to educate mm. the, my audience from my characters. Okay, we'll talk, we'll talk more about that. Um, we'll definitely let people in on, on your handle. Right. Um, but the reason you're here is this particular letter. Last week, Tuesday, Ambassador wrote a letter titled The Way Out, A Clear and Call for Coalition for Nigerian Movement. Um, it's about three pages long. It touched on various issues. Mm. But basically, the summary of this letter to uh, Mr. President from Mulisha Gambasanjo is that he should not run for 2019. He should focus on his health and he should lend his voice as an elder statesman um, from the back seat. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's your take on this? Because I know politically you also have interest in terms of uh, as an opinion leader. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Uh, okay, let me start by saying um, the letter that Obas on your route will say no problem. <laughs> he has written it, he has written it. So, and uh, basically the letter eh, is, to, is directly um, direct um, to Buhari himself and uh, Buhari should... Um, you should take note of this letter because mm -hmm. um, he has written this letter to you, President, um, President um, our former president, yeah. Jonathan, before. That's and, four years ago, actually. Four years ago. So I think you should um, take note. You should go into it and, mm -hmm. you know, get his, own, um, get his own ideas from it. Basically, him not running for 2019 is a good suggestion from Obasanjo. Okay. It's a very, very good suggestion because... Do you think a lot of Nigerians are in agreement with that particular Of course. Suggestion? Uh -uh. Go to social media, you will see people, people, people are parrying, people are not. They, people, what are the Agberos saying? Uh, the Agberos are not smiling at all. No, they are not smiling because if you should look at this country now, if you should look at this country, the people 
suffering in this country are the are the, are the poor, the masses, mm -hmm. the agbero. Okay, me, I'm a fresh agbero, and so I'm going to talk. Fine boy, on, fine boy, agbero. I'm going to talk on their behalf. You understand? These people, they they they, they suffer to, to 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 get just even 200 naira on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, and you now telling them to buy fuel for 140 something naira is not a good thing at all. So, I, I think Buari needs to step down. As mm -hmm. Baba has said, he needs to step down. He has done his own part. He's, 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 he, 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 has, he has given his best, but uh, the, his best is not enough for us. Well, let, let's take a look at, um, I mean, you mentioned the former letter. It seems uh -huh. uh, um, Obasu, President Obasujo usually writes his letters every four years. The uh -huh. last one he wrote was before it's too late. And uh, he said, and I quote, um, was meant for him, talking about uh, Jonathan, President Jonathan then, to act before it was too late. Too late he yeah. ignored it and it was too late for him. It was too late. Somehow the opinion that this letter is also another, like, uh, for, foreseeing or foretelling what will happen. Exactly. Um, I'm going to tie that to his, which is what uh, I think everybody's talking about, the proverb. Uh, being a Yoruba man, he <laughs> cannot move away from the Yoruba proverb. Um, the, the proverb is, in Yoruba, it's uh, Tinoba, uh, Tinoba Tonla Sho. Ejoni, 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 which yeah. basically translates to when the lice abound in your clothes, your fingernails will never be dried of blood. Of course. What's of your course. take on this particular, this, this proverb, and how, how relevant do you think this proverb is to the letter? Yes, or, uh, because um, looking at this proverb. <laughs> where is it alone? Oh, no, I, 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 <laughs> alone. That, that proverb is, is very relevant, very, very le relevant, because if there is a problem on ground and uh, we've not settled the problem, there's mm. nowhere to go. We, you can't hide it. Mm. You can't hide it when there's um, when there's um, fire on, on your clothes. You understand? You mm. can you cannot hide it. You cannot hide it. You have to. Everybody will see it. So mm. there, uh, there's another proverb that says you cannot cover a smoke one with basket. You understand? Mm. Everybody will see it. But do, do you think this letter is timely, or do you think it's something that was not necessary at this time? Do you think ah. it was too direct and too blunt? Uh, it was direct and blunt be, uh, because it's supposed to. Mm. This, we need it at this time. Mm. We've kept um, <clears throat> silent for so long and people are, not, people are no more smiling right now.